Hey folks, Shady's back and today I'm going to discuss a topic which I think nobody discussed in detail. I saw iStream talking about it in the Truth About the Arena Breakout Infinite video, but not really going into the depth of skins within Arena Breakout mobile version. So whenever there is a new skin released, for example, the Bandit skin, then some of the creators are getting a chance to introduce them to the audience. So did I, um, and I had that with the Sakura skin as well and the forest guy and stuff like that. And uh, this time, instead of giving you like simple gameplay, I wanna talk about somewhat about the bandit skins, but also about skins in general, my feelings, personal feelings, what I hear from the community and such. By the way, I think the bandit skins look really awesome. They perfectly fit into the world of Arena Breakout. I also like that they are adding tons of extra detail, very minor details. If you check the texture, then you're going to see all of that gloss and reflection. I think it's an absolute masterpiece. Although I need to raise the question that what's the main purpose of buying skins? Like for me, I can share my personal like way of thinking. For me, skins matter the most when I'm in the lobby because I can see my character. And if I see that character looks nice, then I'm somewhat feeling empowered and I feel stronger. I jump into the game and then, and then I actually forget about the skin because during the game, I'm not regularly checking my gun and I'm kind of focusing on the gameplay. So for me, skins matter more like outside of the game and i can clearly say that the skins are not modifying my gameplay into any of the directions so i'm not better in the game and i'm not worse in the game for example with the vss i found a golden lion on port lockdown but i didn't have the big composite case and i lost it so the vss didn't bring me luck but then I jumped into storm mode and I had some nice kills. Then I also played TV station with the same VSS, same skin, just for the sake of recording. And uh, it's not the skin that makes you strong. However, there's a minor like psychological effect. And let me explain. If you are the one having that skin, then you're going to get that extra boost in the lobby. Eventually, even during the game, because you can inspect your gun and you just feel better. But if somebody, if your enemy is having one of those skins, think about a fall, like the yellow one, and maybe they have some nice clothes and gloves and flashlight. Then what happens that it automatically triggers in your head that you should be somewhat scared because that, that guy, that guy might be strong, a strong opponent. And the first thing is not that you think that it's going to be someone who has tons of money no you're just gonna feel that oh that's a giga chad and i i will be better like cautious because he's gonna destroy me so it's giving you an indirect advantage in the game if you are having good skins but as a minor disclaimer let me add that what i just said is not true for everybody some people just don't care about skins and even if the enemy has some nice skins maybe you know you're not gonna be afraid of fighting that guy but i think there is like a psychological thing behind skins based on the feedback i'm getting from you guys is that we all love skins right they just look amazing i mean yes that's 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 a fact but we don't like them as much that we are willing to pay 50 euros or dollars or even more money, 100 bucks, almost 200 bucks. And this is kind of the general feedback from the community that skins are awesome, but they are super expensive. Please do something about that. And I think, guys, that if every skin that is in Arena Breakout would cost 50% less, then the overall income for the development team would be actually more than what they get now from the skins. I would have knives and gloves, for example, on a high price. Make it expensive and make it exclusive. But for the guns, for the SMGs or AKs or whatever, FAS or FALS, I would keep the prices relatively low to make it affordable for more players. Because then, you know, they're going to feel that 
they can at least get some of the skins or they can decide which are the skins they want to buy. Maybe they're going to have chance to buy multiple of them. Like Fortnite could be a good example. Like they're releasing skins and skins and all kind of things like every single week and players just don't stop after purchasing one. They keep going because there's a new stuff and, and due to the fact it's not like super expensive they're gonna start piling up like all the emotes, the dances and skins and whatnot. What happens now is that if a skin is being released you fall in love with, you eventually try to get that skin, but then the likeliness of buying a similar skin in the future is gonna be close to zero. For example, I purchased the very first knife, you know, the big black one, and then the lucky rabbit, and since that is red, I'm okay with that. I would love to have the pickaxe, the red version, but you know, I just missed that. And I'm at the moment not planning to do additional purchases if there's going to be new knife skins released. But, but if they would cost like $10 or $15, eventually $20, I would start adding some variety. Maybe I would keep my red knife. And if there is something new and exciting, I would go for that and I would purchase that for real money. Same applies to gloves. I'm at the moment waiting for a glove to be released, which is like black, white, red or something. Same for the clothes. I'm going to purchase that even if it costs me $200. I'm going to go for that and I'm going to play with that skin. I'm not saying forever, but for a long time. If the skin would cost only $30, I would purchase the next one, which I like. And then if there's going to be a new skin, which I also like for another $25 or $30, I would purchase that as well. So in overall, I think on the long term, I would spend more money on the game. I would be really happy to hear your opinion about skins and their prices. So please spam the comment section because the feedback I'm getting is also valuable feedback for the development team. I have no clue how much money they spend on advertising the servers, maintaining the team and kind of basically everything that is required to run the business, but that's a lot of money. It's lots of money and we, you and myself, like the player base, we are the ones who can actually support the team, the development team. Think of it as like, not a donation, it's more of a subscription. You are subscribing to the game, you are spending some money in the hope that it's going to be long lasting. Because if suddenly nobody would pay a single dollar, then Arena Breakout would be forced to shut down. And we don't want that. And this is absolutely not a message against free to play players. I respect you all, okay? The whales, the free to play, and the whole spectrum, everything in between. I respect that, but somebody has to pay. And I'm willing to pay, and I have the feeling that many of you would be willing to pay if the prices of the skins would be lower. All right, let's do the following. Please leave a comment and let me know if you are free to play or if you are investing money into the game. If you are investing money into the game, are you having the battle pass, the elite pass and uh, the composite case? Let me know which of the three you are subscribed to which you are using and on top let me know if you purchased any skins um, in the game and if you did how many of them just one multiple all of them and also put your hands up if you are sometimes spending real money to purchase coin and actually if you think that all of this is too personal and you just don't want to share it with the public then keep it for yourself but at least let me know what would be the price for a skin, like a weapon skin, okay? Like the bandit skins. How much are they worth for you? Would you pay $5 max, $15, $50, $200? Let me know in the comments. This would be actually very valuable for the development team to see the expectations of prices, of skin prices. So, you know, if you have a minute, then please leave a comment. 
Circling back to the bandit skins because this is what this video is originally about. They didn't make me stronger. I had success with the Org. I love the VSS skin. Of course I love it, but I don't like the gun because I think it's super expensive. I don't like the recoil, but the skin is like, it's awesome. So if you like the skins and you have the money for it, then hop into the game uh, before they are getting removed. And actually on that note, I just reminded myself the skins are being removed and I don't really understand why or even if they are removed why cannot it happen that they are being added back with a discount later on and also what i don't understand is that we are starting to see like an overwhelming amount of skins compared to how it was in the past because at the beginning we only had like one knife skin and it felt to be like being a momentum and everybody was waiting for that now we have skins like every week or every second week which i don't mind but please guys make them affordable i would personally purchase more of them and guys who you who are watching please validate that in the comment section i can grab that and if this video is getting some attention i can forward that to the development team and we know that the arena breakout team is listening to the community maybe they're gonna just add a 10 percent off but that's still better than nothing, because on the long run, maybe we can get to the point where the game is still profitable for them, but at the same time, the skins are gonna cost less in the game. Thank you for your attention, guys. Shoot, loot, subscribe. I'm freaking tired, by the way, but I really wanted to push this out and talk to you guys about the skins and their prices. So happy gaming. See you next time. Shady out. Bye.